have some fresh Japan travel news that I'm sure you'll be happy to hear. Japan is dropping the rest of their COVID entry requirements sooner than expected. Along with that, the tourist numbers from March are in, and these numbers are considerably higher than what most people expected. With the strong return of tourism and all the border measures dropping early, what will your trip to Japan look like with all these massive and recent changes? Well, today we're gonna find out. So let's dive right into this latest news. Earlier this month, Japan released the huge news that they would be removing all of their COVID entry requirements at the same time they would downgrade COVID's severity classification. And currently, Japan is set to downgrade COVID on May 8th. However, one of Japan's biggest holidays appears to have gotten a vote in the matter. Instead of dropping the COVID requirements on May 8th, they decided to push that date to the left a whole week, getting rid of these requirements by April 29th. This is in anticipation of one of Japan's biggest holidays, Golden Week. Now, for anyone that might not know, Golden Week is essentially one massive national holiday for an entire week. And like any big holiday, you can expect a ton of people traveling by plane to enjoy their time off. According to the government, they expect a large influx of tourists, both from at home and abroad. Because of this, they will drop all COVID entry requirements early to help alleviate airport congestion in anticipation of one of Japan's busiest travel weeks. While it is overall a good thing that these requirements are going away sooner than expected, if you're traveling to Japan during Golden Week, you might want to hold off on all that celebrating just a little bit. As you would expect during any country's busiest holiday, you will run into massive crowds, long lines, and extremely expensive hotels due to all the high demand. So again, if you're traveling to Japan during Golden Week, make sure you have a plan to avoid all of those hot spots or or have everything booked well in advance. But if you feel like you haven't planned well enough, you can always check out my hidden things to do videos to dodge all those crowds. This makes a perfect segue into my next topic, tourism's huge comeback. Japan tourism is rapidly gaining momentum, and a quick look into the tourism numbers from March will only confirm this. During the month of March, 1.8 million tourists paid Japan a visit, which is 65% of pre-pandemic levels. This is a considerable jump from the numbers that we reviewed for the month of February in a previous video. In February, Japan only saw 1.5 million tourists, which was only 56% of pre-pandemic levels. That means in only one month, there was a staggering 10% jump in tourists returning. And with this positive trend continuing month over month, we could expect to see a complete return of tourism as early as August, according to some analysts. What's even crazier is China, who used to account for over 30% of Japan's total tourist numbers has barely even made a return to the country yet. And as China gets more and more comfortable with traveling once again, we will only see Japan get more and more crowded. So what this means for you, the traveler, is to start planning your trip sooner rather than later. With prices for hotels, transportation, and food all on the rise, it is all the more important to get your plan together earlier and book everything well in advance. Even though all these changes might seem stressful at first, all that planning will be worth it. So you can enjoy your adventure in Japan worry-free and make some memories you'll never forget. Like this video so others can see the great news. Check my affiliate links when you plan your trip to Japan in the description box below. And until then, I'll see you next time.